Hi everyone, in today's video, let's design the database for my upcoming e-learning platform together. All right, so let's do that. So right now, let me show you what I have built with my e-learning platform, so the UI. So I just finished the UI only. So what you can see right here, we have the homepage, we list all of the course. And so inside each one of the course, we have the this one is like the course detail and the user enroll and we list all the lesson and we, if we click on one of the lesson we see the lesson link but right now everything is static so the data is fake as well so yeah so this is what it's look like so um, right now uh, what i wanted to do is to design the table for this one so what i like to do before i design the table is to build ui first so then i can see what uh, this page, what kind of data that's needed. And so I also use the fake JSON to simulate like the data that one fetch from the server. So for the design of the table right here, we'll pass on the super base policy as well. So I will try to um, design the table based on that. Okay, so let's do that. So let's jump in here. So right now let's create the entity for this one. I'm going to design as code and click on entity relationship. So we have this uh, boilerplate right here so i think as of now i'm going to erase everything from this one and maybe i can keep the user so for the user of this application it's going to be really simple so i will have their id which is going to be a string maybe uh, we can change this one uid display name and i'm going to get the students or the user emails and then for this one and also for the image url as well okay so i will have this one this is for the user and so right now let's design a table for render this page so it's going to be the course right because we list all of the course from here so for this one i am going to copy from this one so this is going to be a course and probably we do not need to use an icon right here so the course will have an id and it will have the title as well so because if you hover on one of this one we have the title and the description of the course so then it's going to have description and so what else do we need in here so for, i'm going to check if so the information here is going to cost is it's going to be a pro version or not so it's going to be is pro is going to be a boolean i think maybe this one i should do the underscore instead so name right here and then the image url as well okay so for this one if i check if the course is pro and also the cost price so it's going to be price id which is going to be a string for the price id right here it will link with the stripes a uh, price id so this one is can be nullable if the pro is false so if the course is free there's no price id related to it right and so we're going to have the icon so you can see each of this one will have an icon on the course and i think that this one is going to be a string and this one is going to be a number of uh, lessons right here so which is going to be a number so the icons right here it's going to be a string so i'm going to show you example what it's look like so it's going to be look something like this so for example if you have like icon react and next year it's going to be this so then when i fetch i can split this one with the comma and then i get the array of this one so then i can loop this one to display the icon right here okay all right so that's pretty much it for our course uh, table so this one will be used to render this uh tape this page right here okay so right now let's go into side this page so for this page we'll have the information from the course it's okay we can reuse that and then for the information about the instructor which is me right here this is going to be static this is my website so i'm gonna just keep it static i don't want to store this information and how to enroll this one based on the price id that we have right here if there's a price id we connect it with stripe if not which is links show them like okay this course is free and something like that and then also this one is we render the lesson so then we need to create the lessons table that re re to render the lesson so right now we have only one lesson here so let's do that so we're gonna have the lessons table so for this one we're gonna have the id which is gonna be uuid as well i'm gonna have asset as a pk and if you look at each one of the lesson we have the title and the description of the lesson as well so it's gonna be the same thing uh, this one so maybe we can just copy this one and we're gonna have the course 
ID that this one is going to link to the cost table and maybe I change this one to lowercase instead so um, this is going to be a UUID for this one as well and then for each one of the lesson if we're going to have the is lock it's going to be boolean and yeah so for this one so there is lock right here because like i use this one to display the lesson so for example even though if the course is paid you need to subscription you need to buy to see it but some part of the lesson can be able to see the user even though the course is premium so if i if the course is pro and the lesson here is lock here is fault so it mean like the lesson can be able to show to the user so they don't have to buy or subscription for this one so this one is good for let's say introduction to the user and to see the course content okay so and then we have the relationship here so for this one we can do the lessons dot id that this one will link into the course dot I think this one is ID, not this one ID, but this one is going to be lesson that cost ID. Okay, so right now we should have, which you can see, we have this relationship right here. So it's from course to the lessons right here. Very nice. So right now, uh, so as you can see for the lesson right here, we do not have the lesson link or like the video links inside store and lesson. The reason that I do that because I want to every information here is available for the user to read so the policy for this one is available for the user to read so and so even though they're not authenticated even though if they not uh, buy this course so um, for that so the lesson link we need to be protected so that's why i split that in a new table and so this one so let's create a new table for the lesson link or lesson content so let's say we can have the lessons content and the lesson content will have the lessons id which we're gonna use the uuid and as a pk for this one uh, pk so this one is will link to the lesson id right here so right here we're gonna have the content that is going to be string and then we're gonna have the video url which is going to be a string okay so then we have the relationship for this one so maybe I can do this and right now we can have the lessons content dot lessons ID it's going to equal to lessons dot ID okay so this one is will link to together so you can see from course lessons and less to lesson content right here so this is where we're gonna render so when I click on the lesson it will go to the lesson here so this is where it's gonna fetch the lesson content it will get the video links right here and then the information the course right here all right so right now we have this one uh, and so for the course and the lesson so it should be good to go for render this page and to create the data and fetch from this one the one thing that i wanted to do here maybe we can design more uh so for example for the user enroll and the keep track of the progress as well so for that let's do for enroll and when the user for example they click on they buy this one of this course so then we're going to enroll them to the course right we can keep track of the user so for that i'm going to create a new table all enroll and then the enroll right here will have the id is going to be uu id which is going to be a, a, a pk and then we're going to have the course id which is going to be a uu id as well and then we're going to have the user id and the uu id as well so this one we keep track of okay the user enroll into which course and so for this one we can link so enroll dot course id it's linked to course dot id and then we're gonna do enroll dot user id it will link to the user dot id okay so you can see right now for uh, enroll right here will link to both of this one so then when you when i can fetch the user information and then see which course that they are enrolled into so yeah and so right now let we'll create one more table to keep track of the progress of the lesson so for example right here 
we have this lesson so when the user is complete we want to check this as complete so for that we need to a table to keep track of this one and so for this one i'm going to create a new table called progress maybe i can copy from here and this one is going to be a progress table and so we're going to have this one it's going to be a lessons id so we have the user id and i think maybe we can have the course id inside here as well okay course id so this is going to be course uid right here as well okay so that is uh, for the course so because we wanted to link this one so you can see the lesson id will link to the lessons table so let's do this one so it's going to be less uh progress dot lesson id will link to lessons dot id and another one is going to be the progress dot user id it will link to the user dot id and also progress dot course id it will link into the user that uh, no, no, not user it's going to be a course dot id right here as well okay so that i think for the course dot id right here i'm not sure it's like it's going to link to this one but for now i think it can be linked i'm not sure because i haven't build this one yet but maybe i can come back and update this one later but as of now i think that this is how to keep track of the this one so for this one i can fetch the lesson link and then i can fetch the also the progress as well so yeah so for the lesson i can fetch the lesson with the progress to see if the the user is finished or not so with this one if we have if they have the record inside the le uh, progress so the lesson right here will mark as a uh, complete right here yeah so that's the goal of this one and then for the user right here yep so i think that pretty much it i think one more thing maybe we can create a table to store the user subscriptions and so i think for this one we're gonna have another table so i'm gonna copy this one and then this one is going to be the subscriptions subscription all right so we're gonna have the subscription here for the subscription i'm going to we're gonna have the user id as a pk all right so it's gonna be user id as a pk and then we're gonna have the a customer id customer id which is so this one is going to be a string and i used this one from the stripe so maybe i should name this one to uh, stripes underscore customer id and so so for this one for the manage user billing and if the user uh, we have the i think it's going to have a subscription mode inside the platform as well so for this one we're going to manage the user billing for the user can unsubscribe or subscribe to this one and so i think the last one is is probably we're going to have the status for this one is going to be boolean okay and then for the subscription table right here a subscription table will do with the, the user id it will link to the user dot uh, id right here okay all right so right now it's this is what it look like and yeah so this is going to be what i'm going to build and i think that pretty much it for now based on the feature that i have so maybe things will be changed when I integrate billing and fetching this one on a real application. But this is what I wanted to do for now. So I will keep you updated if there's anything change on this table right here. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So let me know in the comments what do you think about this structure? Is it good or bad? And all right, so I think that's pretty much it. Probably in the next video, I'm going to talk about the policy of this table so we can set up the policy. So as of right now, I will create a table and insert and fetching on this uh, data right here. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoy and learn something. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.